We're almost there. You're gonna make it. <laughs> Trump Republicans want to criminalize young Alabama women who travel for reproductive care. Miss, I'm gonna need you to step out of the vehicle, take a pregnancy test. Stop them by taking action at Right to Travel. This ad claims that women are being pulled over and given pregnancy tests by police in Alabama. Just absolute unhinged lunacy. But it will be persuasive to the same crowd of morons who think Florida passed a bill banning residents from saying the word gay. I saw that ad so many times on X today, posted by conservatives like Matthew, and they all said something like, all the left does is lie. This isn't happening. This is just scare tactics. And Alabama's attorney general is on record saying that women have every right to travel as long as they have zero help. But the moment they have help, the moment somebody gives them gas money, calls and makes the appointment, rides with them to support or to help drive, and that is a conspiracy and a felony. So while that ad might be exaggerated, it's the truth. And it's also very on brand for the people who say that the left wants to kill babies up to and after birth, say that that's nothing but propaganda. I don't support taking bodily autonomy from anybody for any reason, but you would think the conservatives in Alabama who support zero bodily autonomy because they're pro-life would also support policies that help people who are alive. But Alabama's bottom of the barrel when it comes to infant mortality, maternal mortality, we have rural hospitals closing, healthcare services closing because of our refusal to expand Medicaid. We have labor and delivery units across the state closing. One in four children in Alabama live with some sort of food insecurity, and we refuse federal funds to feed hungry children. But we're pro-life. Alabama is not pro-life. Alabama is pro-birth, pro-forced birth, because we don't give a fuck about that life once it's actually here, once it's actually alive. And when I point out that gold medal level of what the fuckness, I get told that I'm just an advocate for big government. So let me get this straight. Big government is okay when you put the government in all the uteruses, but it's not okay when it's used to help people and to feed hungry children. But that ad might be obsolete in a few years. I mean, the election's coming up and there's a whole bunch of white folks who wouldn't know hypocrisy if it slapped them in the face who say that the president can do whatever he wants and that Biden is a dictator and a whole lot of white folks who wouldn't know privilege if it slapped in the face, who say that Genocide Joe hasn't done enough to earn their vote, who might just help MAGA take over the country. And then Alabama would be America. Hallelujah and roll tide.